Hey everybody, it's Mr. Evans. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add audio to your WeVideo projects. And by the time we're done today, we should all be able to add music and sound effects and use all of the audio features to make our video projects better. So to use the audio, go up and click on the music note next to audio. Sometimes these words aren't here, but the symbol should be here. So click on the music note. And that will show you all of the audio features. We have free music, sound effects, and premium music. And there's lots to choose from here, so make sure you go in and check all of it out. For free music, we have quite a few here to choose from. If I want to listen to one of them, just click on it, and it'll play it for you. If I want to use one of these audio tracks, I just click on it and drag it down, just like I do with the video clips. And when I try to bring it down to the video track, it won't go in there. That's because it doesn't have graphics. In order to put something in video one or video two or any video track, it has to have a graphic. This is just audio, so I'm gonna bring it all the way down to audio one. Now it's green, and that means that it will go there. So now I release it off the mouse pad, and there it is. Now I can press the space bar, and it'll play the music. Now let's say if I don't want to use the audio track the entire time, maybe I just want it for a few seconds. That's okay. If I just want to use it for a little bit, for a few seconds, I can click on the scissors to split it at the playhead, and that will cut this right at that spot. Then I can click on the rest of it, press backspace, and delete it. So now I just have this right here. The other features we have are sound effects and premium music. Let's go take a look at sound effects. For sound effects, we have animals, events, hospital, nature, other, people, traffic, and weather. And you can see those are all along the sidebar here as well, which makes it a little bit easier for you to access them um, once you're in one of these folders. So let's take a look at animals. Now we have lots to choose from here. Sheep and dogs and cats and chickens and horses and just lots to choose from. To listen to one of them, I can click on it. Those are summer insects. This is barking and growling. If I want to layer the sound effect with the music, which means I want to hear the music and the sound effect at the same time, what I'll need to do is bring it and put it is bring it down and put it below the music. But there's only one audio track here. So to fix that, I need to add another audio track. In order to do that, I need to go up here and click on the plus symbol. And this is also how you can add a new video track as well. So I click on that. Now I can choose. I can add a video track or an audio track. I'm going to click on audio. And this is where I can give the track a name or a title. And I'm going to type in sound effects because that's what I'm going to use in this track. You do not have to put a name for each track. But if you're going to use multiple tracks, it is a good idea to label them so we know which one goes in which track. It'll make it less confusing for you and easier to do in the long run. So do you have to uh, label your, your audio tracks? No, but if you're going to use a bunch of them, you might want to so it's easier to use. So once I give my track a name, I'm going to add it. So I click the blue button and now it should be down below. There it is. So now I'll bring down the barking. And I'm just trying to show you how these work together. I'm not saying that you should um, put barking with this music or anything like that. It's just a demonstration. So and I'm going to press the space bar to listen. And that music sounds a little loud. So if I want to bring the music volume down, I can go right here to the dot. See how it says 100%? That means that it is at full normal volume. It's at the volume that it's 
uh, normally played at. But if I want to make it softer, I can click on it and drag it to the left. And this is just the same technique as you use for dragging down a video clip. It's like the drag and drop technique where I click on it and drag it over with my finger. And now it should be a bit softer. So that's about half the normal volume. About 50% 50, 50 is half the normal volume. And if you have it something close to that, if it's 49%, no one's going to know the difference if it's 49% or 50%. So don't feel like it has to be exactly 50%. It doesn't need to be. Just make it the volume you want it to be. Whatever you want it to be is what it should be. Something else I want to show you is if I bring it to the right from 100%, it goes up and up. See how it says 100 or 230%? It goes all the way up to 500%, which is technically five times louder than it normally is. But there's a bit of an issue with this, and I want to see if you hear it. Listen. Oh, oh, did you hear that? It sounds distorted, which means that there's something that's making the sound, that, that there's something that's making it not sound right. And you can listen to it. Listen to it again. Oh, it's kind of hard to listen to. That's because it's too loud. So don't think the louder the better, because that's not really the case when it comes to these projects. My advice is to keep it at 100% or close to it, or bring it down lower if you want it to be lower. You can always turn the volume up on your, on your computer or tablet or whatever you watch the video on when it's finished. But it, the music doesn't need to be as loud as possible unless that's really necessary for your project. So I hope that makes sense. Now, there's a few other things you can do. We can change this volume for the entire track. Or you could change the volume for part of the track. I'm going to delete uh, this barking just so we can work on the, the music track. Now, let's say if I want it to be quiet in the middle of it and then have it get louder toward the end. Well, you see this blue uh, bar going across the top of it? That's your volume bar. And in order to adjust it, I can click on it, and you'll see a white dot appear. Watch. See that white dot right there? I have a white dot at, at the left end and the right end. This is my volume. If I wanted to bring the volume down in a certain part, I can click and add another dot, like that one right there in the middle. And you'll see this cursor turn into a hand when I put it over it. Watch. See that? Now that means I can click on this and drag it down if I want. Now, it tells you the percent, just like you have over here. Now it's at 0%. So you're going to hear the volume go all the way off and then start up again and go all the way back up. Listen. And this feature can be used in just a, in a million different ways. Something I want to show you quick that I think is important is if you want the music to fade in or fade out, which means that it starts at a lower volume and then gets louder, it's a pretty simple thing. All you need to do is click on the dot at the end and bring it down to zero. That means it'll end at 0% volume. Now you'll hear it fade out And a couple other things you can do is if you put the dots in here, you can also make it sound a little bit better as it fades out. This is a technique that we sometimes see video programmers use. This is like an advanced technique where they say that you should put a rounded curve at the end so that it fades out a little, a little more like we normally hear on TV and in movies and stuff like that. And you don't have to do this but it might be a good idea to where you can hear it fade a little bit and then it fades a lot at, at the very end. This is a common technique where they round it at the end.
So that is how you can fade in and out. And to, to fade in, you just do the same thing at the beginning. You, you can drag it down. And then you can, and you can slide these little dots too. And then you can add some more dots over here if you wanted. It all depends on, on what you want to do. One thing about these dots is you can add as many as you want, but the more you add, the trickier it becomes to manipulate it in different ways. So if you put too many dots on there and you want to get rid of some, it's okay. Just double click on one and it'll go away. Once you do that, once that dot disappears, it turns into a straight line. So you see how it goes here and then down? When I get rid of this dot, you'll see this line change. So it goes straight from, from this top dot to this one here near the bottom. Watch when I click on it, you'll see the line change. See it change like that? So that is how you can fade in and fade out. So there are some things that you can use to add audio to your video projects. And if you need further help with it, just let me know in class and I'll be happy to help you with it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you get to add audio tracks and manipulate them any way you want for your projects. And I can't wait to check it out. Thanks again. Hope you have a great day.